Okay, not very easy to show. And it looks pretty boring when you look at that because it's just white. However, if we come down here, it'll be evident what this is. Have a read of that. What this is, it's a silk Irving parachute. Um, Irving, American Leslie Irving, pronounced Irving. There should be a G at the end of his surname, but a clerical error meant that forever it's known as Irving. But it should be Irving. Leslie Irving um, basically came out with this parachute idea in the 1920s. Uh, by 1927, he'd moved to England to open another parachute factory at Letchworth. And by 1939, the Irving Parachute Company was the world's leading supplier of parachutes. Um, over 40 countries used the Irving Parachute during the Second World War. And there's at least one occupied country the Germans took over. They confiscated an Irving Parachute factory and for a short time issued Irving Parachutes to their own German forces. Uh, made of silk... One can understand why these parachutes used to vanish upon somebody bailing out of an aircraft or the Allies landing on D-Day. Most of the air forces would have had this parachute issued and all Allied servicemen who jumped on D-Day would have had exactly the same Irving chute. Um, the, the quality, I don't know if you've ever felt the quality of one of these silk parachutes, but it's really fantastic quality. And one can understand why these quickly disappeared into civilian hands after the paratroopers and the air crew would finish with them. They used to cut them up and use them for underwear or wedding dresses. Um, this particular one turned up last Sunday at a textile fair in Manchester in the UK. And I don't know if the camera will show it, but where this stamp is, it says Irving Airshoot, manufactured by Irving Airshoot of Great Britain. Like I say, there should be a G. But the trademark doesn't show the G, so forever it's known as Irving. The manufacture number is there, and the inspection number is there. Now, when it says date, it is actually date stamped, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It actually says 1-2-June 1939. So it's a June 1939 parachute. How incredible is it that this has survived all these years? Now, the problem with silk parachutes is... They didn't store very well in their original packaging. So once a month after these were made, the, the factory had to remove them from the packaging, completely unfold them and hang them up. Because in the packaging, they used to suffer from uh, mould. And to stop them from going mould in the packaging, they took them out, unfold them, hung them from the ceiling of the factory so that the fresh air could circulate around them. Now, ultimately, with the passage of time, Silk parachutes get replaced by nylon composition parachutes, but what what a nice item to find. We'll see if we can get up that 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 date. I don't know if it'll show up. Oh there we are. You can maybe you can maybe see it. One two G U N and it's 1939 date. How about that? And it turned up at a textile fair in Manchester last Sunday. So surprising what you can find. An Irving